when it comes to reviewing IP cameras, it is not often I get to do this and grab a fully operational camera. Hey guys, today we are talking about IP cameras and the total wireless freedom that Emo Cell 2 gives to your ecosystem. Because this thing is pretty cool. It's not the first time I've reviewed Emo cameras. Previously I had access to either indoor cameras from the Ranger series, you get to watch them in there if you're interested, they spin around and do fancy stuff, or outdoor bullet series which is, well, as the name suggests, bulletproof. But now I have a camera that is not just wireless but also rated for outdoor use, which is perfect because you no longer have to worry about wires. Well, you'll have to worry about the battery life, but we're gonna touch on that in a moment. But having the wireless freedom isn't the only interesting feature on Emo Cell 2. You have increased resolution. This baby comes with 2K support, so that's four megapixel sensor. There's a dual band Wi-Fi, so finally a camera that works with 2.4 and 5.0 bands on your Wi-Fi network. Excellent. You also get local cloud and Real-time streaming protocol, we're going to touch on that in a moment as well. A night vision that supports color footage thanks to the built-in LED as well as the infrared LEDs and two-way audio. And that's not a complete list of features. So let's take a closer look at this. At first glance, especially the white model, there's also a black one if you fancy that, it looks like a cross between a speaker and Xiaomi one bulb projector. I mean, it's not particularly a bad thing if you're just gonna put it on a shelf, but it's not going to look as sleek attached to the wall thanks to the included wall mount. All of that goodness is wrapped in a weatherproofed enclosure, which means you can actually take this camera outside, which is nice because it's good to have options. You'll have a speaker at the front with a microphone, obviously the lens with LED array, and at the bottom you have an access to the camera guts, including the SD card reset button and the battery. At the back, apart from the quarter inch adapter, you'll also find charging socket, which is unfortunately micro USB. Come on, Emo, you are doing so good up to this point. It means that you have a complete freedom whether you want to run it wireless, with a battery support or have it powered by a, a USB port and use the battery as a backup just in case your power supply is spotty. I also know that Emo is working on spare batteries to be buy separately, a dedicated charger and solar powers just like they have for the Pro series. So if you're looking for those accessories, fortunately you'll have to wait till around March or April. But that's okay because Emo advertises up to six months battery life. Now, will it last six months? Probably not for a standard user. Now, in my tests, I was running everything pretty much to the max with recording around 40 events a day, and that drained about 5% of the battery within 48 hours. So the standard user should get about three to four months of average use on the battery, which to be fair, it's respectable. Now that you know that you can take the camera outside or keep it indoors and you don't have to plug in the power, uh, you probably want to know how the footage looks like and what is the audio like. Thanks to increased resolution, you'll be able to beat any 1080p cameras and get that extra resolution on your video footage. But as it is a battery operating gadget, it'll come with a couple of disadvantages. First, it's the access time. Now, to get to the stream from the camera, you'll have to wait a couple of seconds. I mean, it's nothing too excessive, but you'll have to wake up the camera, start the stream, and then that stream is going to be available for you to see in the Emo app. It also means that all the event recordings are not going to start immediately. Looking through the footage recorded by the camera, there is about one to two seconds delay between motion event and the actual recording time, so you'll have to take that in consideration when positioning this camera to make sure it will capture all the footage that you want. Another thing is the fact that you cannot set this camera to continuous recording, even if it's connected permanently to power supply. 
I hope this is going to be addressed by Emo because I don't really see a reason why not to. Especially even on a battery, if the user wants to use the camera this way, I think they should be given an option. Looking at the footage from the camera, I'm quite impressed. The sensor is pretty good uh, in both indoors and outdoor scenarios, and that extra resolution comes in handy, especially when you want to zoom in on an object, capture some face details, or read that registration plate from the vehicle moving across the road. And even in the bad lighting conditions, the camera is doing quite well. Having a colored night footage is optional, so you get to choose whether you would like to uh, turn the LED on and have a color footage, or continue with infrared mode and enjoy black and white resolution. As the camera is equipped in two-way audio, you can also have a conversation with whoever is on the other side. It's not probably what you're going to use to stream your videos or start a YouTube channel with, but, well, sounds pretty great. The building speaker is actually quite loud, so if you're planning on using this camera outdoors, I have no doubt whoever's on the other side is going to be able to hear you just well. All of that footage needs to be stored somewhere and you have three options. First of all, there is a local storage. Unfortunately, files aren't stored in some viewable format, so you'll have to still use the app to export them. I don't like this approach, but we're dealing with it anyway. Second option is obviously the cloud provided by Emo. The plans are reasonable, they're not overly expensive, and you'll be able to find something that matches the duration and price of your choice. The third option, and I was actually surprised that this is still working, is the real-time streaming protocol for this battery-operated camera, because <laughs> why not? It's not an officially supported one, but it works, and if you want to have more details about it, how to hook it up, in a linked article in the description, I'm gonna have this explained. As the camera records only events, let's talk about them. The event detection is split into two categories. You can have motion captures and human detection. This is powered by AI and the camera will try to differentiate one from another. As per all the EMO cameras, you have an access to sensitivity of emotion, uh, human detection, and get to pick the detection zones to tailor your notifications and wake up, wake up time for the camera even further. So far, I've been very positive about this IP camera, and for a reason, it's a pretty good unit, but not everything is perfect. Show front door camera. Alexa integration is currently broken, which means mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to stream the footage to Alexa ecosystem. I wasn't able to verify this with Google Home, but Emo is aware of the issue and the fix is going to be deployed around mid-February. It's a long time to wait, but it is what it is. I already mentioned the lack of USB Type-C connected for charging and the lack of the ability to actually have continuous recording, which would be really good for a camera, so the consumers would have this option. Lastly, I wish Emo made up their mind about real-time streaming protocol support and made it official, added its official documentation so it doesn't turn into an Easter hunt. Since it's already there and I can extract the footage, why not take advantage of this? It's a pretty decent camera for anyone looking for wireless experience indoor and outdoor. There is one more thing that you probably have to stomach before I close this video, which is the price. The camera costs £109 in UK, and it might seem as an expensive choice, but if you consider all the features that you're getting, it's actually not a bad deal, and this camera will serve you well, whether it's deployed indoors, outdoors, because it's easy to use, it's wireless, and it's linked in the description of this video for you to purchase. So, thanks so much for you more for sending me this, I could have a quick look at it and share my opinion with you. If you're interested, you know how to find the product and more information about the real-time streaming protocol is included in the article. As for now, guys, I don't have any schedule, so if you're interested in what's coming up next, it's, uh, you know, how YouTube works, I'm not going to explain to you all this, but if you want to send me cool links or share your projects uh, with me, then uh, use my social media because YouTube loves to suspend comments and don't show me them for moderation. There's nothing I can do about it, so a lot of comments lately are being suspended. Damn. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and see you next time. Take care. Bye.